Do you ever get those really easy balls, the one with not much pace on it, they might be around the mid-court area, sometimes they're even shorter, high, you have all the time in the world, or you feel that way, you run up to the ball, and the first thing that you're thinking is, I'm gonna crush this ball, I'm gonna absolutely kill it. When you get up there, you go for too much, and you miss it. Well, fear no more, because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to finish those easy balls where you have time. Hey guys, Simon here from Top Tennis Training and in this video we're going to deal with finishing those easy balls in tennis. So we all get them and we've all missed them and it is really frustrating. But there are a few things that you can do to really take away the risk on those shots but still hit a shot that is either going to be a winner or is going to set you up for the winner. Now the first thing is, when we're going up to that ball, the mindset for most players is I'm going to hit a winner off this shot. Now you have to get rid of this mindset because this is going to make you go for more and it's going to make you tense up prior to contact. As we hit this ball, we want to be as relaxed as we possibly can so that we can generate easy power and also it gives us a chance to hit a better stroke. So when I'm getting up to that ball, my first step is actually moving up to the ball as quickly as I can. Because we feel that we have time, the habit is to go slowly and take our time. Now when we feel that we have time, the footwork normally goes a little bit lazy. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get up to that short ball or those easier balls as quickly as we can. We want to be around the bounce. So if the bounce is going to happen somewhere here, I'm running up to that area, still moving my feet as quickly as I can around the ball, still finding the right position, but I'm already set up with my body to hit that ball. The next thing I want to do is I want to prepare still early. So just like on my baseline shot, on a hard ball that's coming at me, I don't want to be too long in that ready position. I want to be quickly back, waiting with my racket set up so that I'm able just to think about the forward part of the swing. Once I've reached this position and I'm still moving around the ball, waiting for that ball to rise, I've already gained a huge edge on that shot. Now the next thing is our mindset on this type of ball. Most players, like I said, want to kill that ball and want to hit a winner. You have to think of this shot like a setup shot. If you hit a winner, perfect. If you don't hit a winner, this type of ball, you might use it like an approach shot, follow it in, and then hit the winner off the volley. So this ball doesn't have to be a winner. If you hit a winner, great. If you don't hit a winner, that's perfectly fine. You're moving up into the forward part of the court and this is where you have more chance to hit an easy volley. So the mindset is really important. We're reaching that ball and we're feeling that we have time because we've set up, we've got our feet working and also the mindset is, I'm not going for a winner. I'm trying to stay as relaxed as I possibly can and I'm going for a nice place shot. Most of the time I'm gonna hit this shot deep and mostly to the player's weakness. So if this is the backhand corner, I'm going down the line with this type of short forehand that I might hit. Same on the backhand. If my opponent has a weaker backhand, I'm hitting it into their backhand and I'm forcing them to pass me off their weakness. Now this is much harder and it takes pressure away from me. And now the last step is prior to contact, I want to feel as relaxed as I possibly can. Naturally when we want more power, we start gripping the handle quite tight. So when you're in that position, when you're setting up for the stroke, try to feel your fingers are really loose, your arm is relaxed, you have no tension in the racket, nothing is holding this tight. I'm quite relaxed, I'm getting up to that ball, and from here, the power is coming just from that effortless swing. I'm not thinking about generating huge power, I'm thinking about hitting a nice place shot to then finish off with the volley. So those are the steps that you wanna take on those easy balls, Remember guys, it's not about hitting a winner on that shot, it's only about placing it. If you hit a really good shot, it's gonna be a winner. Perfect. If you don't hit a winner, that's absolutely fine. You're setting up for a good volley at the net. Now a bonus thing that you could try on this shot to generate more power is come to the ball as relaxed as you can and find that contact point out in front of you. So I'm making contact in front and as I hit the ball, I'm accelerating 
from the contact point. So I'm finding the ball, I'm finding the contact point, and then I'm accelerating. This will help me to stay relaxed until the time of contact. As I make contact, then I can accelerate. So I'm getting up to that short ball, I'm finding the contact point first, and then I'm accelerating. I'm trying to stay as relaxed as possible prior to the contact. So I'm loose, relaxed, then that acceleration. That's what's going to generate easy power over and over again throughout the course of a match. So thanks for watching guys. Go out and try these steps. Let me know how they work, if they work for you. Leave that comment down below. Also click the like button if you like the video. Also please share the videos with your uh, friends, your family, anyone who would benefit from watching the video. Which part of your game do you struggle the most with so that we can make some videos on those topics. All the best guys and see you soon. How do pros like Federer, Nadal and Djokovic dominate opponents? One of the biggest secrets to their success is their match strategy or tactics. Pros change their strategy or tactics depending on the opponent the conditions and their current match form. Yet most recreational players will try to play the same game against every type of opponent they play. If you're a smart tennis player, you can take full advantage of this. Top tennis training coach and ATP pro Alex Slabinski has played on tour for 10 years and competed in 5 Grand Slams including Wimbledon and the US Open. And he has used his experience to put together a free video series that reveals how to beat different types of opponents. To watch the free videos, all you need to do is click the link below this video right now.